hello guys welcome to my crazy world uh, so and well when you made it to my channel you might have seen also another trip we made to the netherlands but this time well germans always say that when we are going to the netherlands we are always going to holland it's always holland but you should know first that Holland is actually just a small part of the Netherlands. So, and this time uh, we really went for one week to Holland. We were at the Eisenmeer in Middenblik and we stayed in a bungalow park. This is what this first video will be about so it was kind of nice i mean um in this bungalow park you had like super super nice free wi-fi you could go fishing you could do a lot like and it was well there was um a barrier that was close, closed from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So at night, you just you need you had to use your key to get in. So it was kind of a gated community. So which was actually pretty nice. Um, and it was a bungalow park where you had your own dog at every end of the property or the small yeah the small space you had so you had the house and your garden ended where the water came um i have two little kitten playing around me all day this is why i'm having this pullover on so yeah besides it's gotten pretty pretty cold which was the first thing in this place so when we stayed there it was raining it was raining a lot so the first i think three days it was just raining <sighs> and the wind wasn't enough to go tight so to have my kite up in the air so it just always came down it was very frustrating and then there was no wind strong wind anymore just rain yeah so um bungalow park um it's it was very cute because the first thing we got like it was a big map with things so where the containers so the trash comes to and um yeah where you can actually find the next supermarket um and what i really really liked even though it was not particularly good for me um yes i have a boat license for germany uh, but the weather was not so good and actually I wasn't driving a boat for a very very long time So I wouldn't trust myself to drive a boat If you know what I mean, but you can rent boats and with having a dock right behind your house um, Interesting things can come up because Whoa, because this map is not about streets. This are the, the Grachten. So the waterways you can travel around with, which is super, super nice. But hey, we didn't do that too. But we made a hiking tour through Medanblick which i will show you after i showed you how the house was looking buddy
just a short warning well we had a house where you can have your dog with you um and it was dirty well not visibly dirty but um i have allergies with house dust so i think yeah two two kind the both both might uh, kinds are troublesome to me and I think that also Buddy has some kind of allergic because he's always scratching himself when it's not clean and he was stretching all the way even though he was not in the bedroom the bed or not too much in the bedroom the bedroom had carpet and you could really see the dust because they couldn't get it in and I asked if there are other things so if you are staying at such a park I'm not telling you which one it is exactly if you find out it's it's okay for you um, well every house is different so all are different looking because they are owned by people and they decide how the house is looking inside um so yeah and so the park is just renting their houses to other people um what else well i asked that if we would do this trip once again if we could have slightly different houses or a different place and they said yes so there are houses of course then without any carpet um, well our garden wasn't completely fenced in this is what I expected because when we saw the pictures or what we expected when we saw the pictures we thought in there's a little bit of fence on the right and on the left but it was completely open so we always had to watch where body is going well yeah okay too bad um so yeah with this let's just go through this and i'm following and helping you out with my voice so enjoy so first of all we got this cute little set at the house and it was roll of uh, toilet paper, so you can see there's the empty one. And we had two different times of cloth. And yeah, I just forgot the matches because we had a gas stove. Then there was a donkey um, outside um, where the trash cans were. And I think it's very smart how they yeah, tied him to this. Yeah just this rope and I was absolutely chilling so on our walk this is when we actually arrived at the ice water you see the cart and some kind of beach and uh, it was very very nice and peaceful yeah it was windy of course <laughs> That was actually the day when I tried to do some, yeah, to, to use my kite, but uh, the wind was not stable enough, so yeah, it just looked like I was holding up yeah, my trash Vasa. can. Ooh, Vasa. <laughs> yeah, so, like, his thoughts. Oh, water! Oh, damn, water. So yeah and um, this was one thing we saw from our path so this is actually not the path itself and we just went down there and we had this arc and then you see this bench and it was so beautiful and it was so calm and yeah you still had the water or uh, yeah some i think it's a gracht and uh yeah with some um ducks and stuff and we just went there and just to check it out it was so nice and awesome so this is actually the route 
we were taking and um, yeah it was fine I think it was a two hours hike or walk so we started at this uh, steam machine museum and uh, well we didn't go in there but I like the details you could see just like in front of the whole thing and again so peaceful so you can do your hikes and it's like always super nice so this was um, the bow I think it also had a number and there was actually a restaurant and a big beach and well it was stormy or windy and it was cold so nobody was there so perfect time for filming and there this the restaurant and uh, yeah this is a playground and some space to put the bikes in front of this restaurant Well, and I really liked how clean these trash cans were. So, when we went further on the hike, or on this walk, <laughs> there was this parkour and, and Andy tried so hard to start with this bad part. And Buddy sometimes isn't the smart one. He's he's um, going on top of stones and stuff like this. And I'm always trying to motivate okay, him come. Come here. to do something like this. And I come really off. like these kinds of parkours because when you are jogging and or running and you just have these parkours and it was really nice. So yeah, we went to this harbor and there was actually a regatta going on. So you could see all these little boats, and, well, different size boats. So these are their small ones with the kids, and yeah. But I didn't want to film persons, as you could see. Yeah, we went further into Mid and Lake, and there is a boat actually going into the harbor, and it looks like just like it's going through the city or through this village. So. This was the first stop. Um, there was a gallery at the point, so of a photographer. There's the harbor itself. And yeah, at the harbor there are two paths you could take. Um, so one on the left, one on the right. So with the first walk, when the first time we checked Mid and Lake out, we went on this, that one and we actually could see some boats and uh, there was also a, a journalist uh, photographing um, some of the uh, boats that were coming in from the regatta. And, yeah, I just look. I, I really enjoyed just the nature of this whole thing. like just listening to the wind and just enjoying this whole stuff so this is why I try to stay calm for a little bit just a little bit <laughs> with a big anchor <clears throat> so it was it was nice even though it was windy had body on a leash even though most of the others didn't do ha have them on the leash but, well we weren't sure about the laws and stuff like this so preferred we prefer to have them on the leash just in case and yeah but everybody else didn't have them on a leash so so dogs can run around free and nobody cares so this is the other side so they were, where the couple is going is where I started filming the last time, or in the last clip. <laughs> so, yeah, and 
here we have the steam train and we are going into the village a little bit further so I think it looked like somehow like yeah a little bit older but still like pretty good so I just wanted to take you with me on this path and then there was a big church and the city hall I think it was the other place and the house it just looks so nice and beautiful oh do you see this stone figure in the background um so it's really 3d so it's it's not greg uh, carved in but it's out it's yeah yeah the first kibbling we had there and of course but it was wanted to have a piece or two but um well and andy and i just shared a portion and Then we went into the Königin Emma Park. So Queen Emma Park. <coughs> Excuse me. And it was very, very nice. As well. So if you plan to go to the ice oh yeah, and dog bags, I love this. Oh that's so fishing. <laughs> Short discussion where we should go. Like, yeah, we have to go uh, on the, to the right. I was like, oh, the other way is so much nicer. Like, okay. <laughs> so, if you have, if you ever plan on going to Middenbleck, uh, no, to do the Eisenmeer, I, I just, I really recommend the trip to Middenbleck, and even if it's just for a day. Just watching. Or, I mean, there are also the other islands. I mean, you can go from there. It's so nice. And then there is this putt putt golf or mini golf or however you want to call it. And I really enjoyed this kind of space. So, and then there we come to these houses, and I really like to know one of you guys pl probably can answer this what is it about these roofs are they more stable are they better in any kind of way okay but a playground so this is the direction from the first time we went there so this is why it's a little bit more windy little ship and Buddy was super surprised. Um, and uh, I really liked that thing. And there was uh, actually a restaurant next to it. Oh, Fascination Bridge. Another bridge that can be lifted and just all these different mechanisms you can find all around the Netherlands or Holland in this case. Um, yeah, Prince Hendrik, he was all over the place um, and there was actually a celebration when we were there and yeah, and I found this and like, okay. He died in 2017 and still everywhere. So he must be very big, but I'm sorry for being lazy and I look, didn't look it up. Uh, yeah, ships. They were so nice boats. Um, mm. Another monument. Um, actually, when you come into an animal park, it was the first thing you saw. Like, and then, I think it's a anapaka. Some, some uh, oh, this was a goat, no sheep. Um, how peaceful they are. It just said you could also go into this whole thing and just pet these animals but dogs needed to be on a leash so um yeah i could go with this um, yeah goat and alpaca from the other way so this was the first from the first day 
we went there. Like, like they are sitting at the same place every time. So yeah, it's their place. I don't know. Yeah. And you just could go there, pet them if you would like if you like to. Um, but not feeding. Not feeding. So there's a big bunny that wasn't there the first time we went there. So yeah. He was kind of sitting in his own toilet, I guess. Mehr. Mehr? Thank you, that's a schon dicker, fetter Kater. So, like, and we were discussing the weight, how much it might weigh, and I was like, yeah, it, I think it's a big, fat tomcat. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And the first time we were there, there was the pig. We didn't see it that the second time when, when we went over there. And it was just staying there. It made some grunting noises when Buddy ran Buddy. next to it, but nothing. Buddy, like, yeah. <laughs> Laying next to the fence and was chilling his life. It was so funny. Birds. They were so beautiful. So the second time we went there, I had a closer look because the first time there were extra people around us. And da unten ist noch so einer. Another one. So. the different birds that they had in there so with their names and I really like that they had like, like this wooden things on their name. It's not a picture, it's like yeah. I don't know how you should call this but I really like this. I mean they were probably I don't know, I'm I'm not too firm in this but probably a little bit too many birds for the small space <coughs> but probably they they like it that way uh, I, don't, I don't know I couldn't find where that sound is coming from And down there, there were also birds I couldn't find. And they were all sitting in the sun, warming themselves, and that was nice. So, definitely check out this park. It's right next to the dam, so you can't miss it from the building. Sea yeah. hotel, and then this is the thing the pond or the space you actually can really see from the dam when you're walking up there. And um, we really completely fenced in so they can't leave. So even underneath the bridge is a fence. Yeah, different kinds of chickens. Yeah, on the right side you see again this um, edge with the alpaca and the goats. Yeah, it's a noisy thing. Look at these legs, legs of this one chicken. Bunny is like super curious, like hi, I want to tell, I want to say hi to you, but I, I love that he's not really into uh, chicken. Art. So, and the first time we had this white 
peacock there and it wasn't there the second time so I'm glad I was there well, we were there twice so I can show you animals that weren't there the first time and the other way around I didn't want to scare him so he could show his feathers yeah but he's like no oh, hi I want to tell you hi but no. yeah ah. never never ah. uh, do stupid things with a dog <laughs> ah. and it was really like talking to buddy ah. for me I don't know ah. <laughs> Yeah. It was fun answering. And I think ah. people didn't stick to the rule like you shouldn't feed them. So yeah. he was, or it was asking for some food. And just outside of this fence and area they were diving ducks or diving birds. And It's gone again. Our way back. And Buddy drank out of the water and because the ISMR is sweet water. Just when you're going closer to where the opening is Buddy. for going in and out. Of the ice and yeah, then you are getting some huh? salty water. So this is something I learned. Really, really. Um, yeah. Wasser trinken. Yeah, then. So Trink. you don't want to drink anymore. Mich? And Annie's going in with his feet. So another duck just diving. And I'm waiting for it to Anybody? dive. Come on. Come on, go. Go, go, go. And this was also the first day we went there, so you can see it with all the wind. Yeah, and next, right next to the street, he was passing by and <laughs> he just didn't give a sh about anything. He was like, okay, hi, I'm here. And I think I saw him on another patch and just when I went a little bit too close or when I stopped and actually wanted to take a photo or video of him, he just flew away. So yeah, yeah, great weather so first day so and super super dark clouds and it's windy and yeah wasn't the best the best start but it was okay um yeah so what i started first so can you tell me something about this additional roof because we passed by there four times at this house and i was like why do they have these two different kinds of roof? So, I mean, the lower layer is something we have as well, but the straw thing on top, is it about wind or something? Please write in the comments. Thank you very, very much for watching till the end. There are more trips coming. So, there is Amsterdam coming up. There is a daily trip to Texel coming up and we also have been in, uh oh, I don't want to make an accident, in Enkhuizen. I'm writing this down, so or when you are seeing the visit, the um, description, you will see how this actually is spelled. Um, and we went to Ork. So between the first village and work there is a ferry but we went around and 
just on the street on our way back. So, and work took place on different days, but I think they fit together just quite nicely. And my fifth video I want to make from this trip. This is something I always enjoy when others are doing this and I wanted to do this like is I recorded the water so with the sound so with the oceans the waves and stuff like this and I will put all of these videos together okay with this please subscribe to see also the other ones and with this this was part one four more to go so subscribe thumbs up Bye-bye.